good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is laura if you're new here i'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey i am just off to go do some groceries got my bag we did a big grocery shop on sunday but we only really buy fresh for a few days and we don't want anything to go to waste so once we finish that then i'll top up the veg uh, so i'm gonna get some veg and then just a couple of other little bits um, and then i'm going to do some planning for the next week i uh, just kind of lay out my week make sure i've remembered everything anything that i was told on a chemo week sometimes goes in one ear and out the other so i have to like note it down um but yeah we've been disconnected from chemo chemo round 10 done that car oh i almost got splish splashed um because you know surprise it's raining here are you guys sick of seeing this jacket because i am all right so just got back from the grocery store replenishing a few of the fruits and veggies got a cucumber because i've been using them for juicing and salads and nourish bowls and stuff a couple of avocados i never buy too many in advance because i just don't you know i hate an avocado going to waste i uh, got a couple of organic tomatoes because they're easier when you're putting them in like wraps and stuff than the little cherry tomatoes i got a couple of alfonso mangoes which I really enjoyed uh, eating the fresh ones on the side of the road in Hawaii. So hopefully those are as good as these. These are as good as those, whatever. Anyway, I got a couple of, I got four apples, Pink Lady. Got a couple of organic zucchini, a bag of baby carrots. Got Thai some cinnamon raisin bread. And then I just got some wraps because I'm going to make him a veggie wrap tonight to take for rehearsal. He literally only, like he's coaching this morning here and he has about two hours free in this whole day from like 4 30 in the morning till 10 30 p.m so i'm gonna help him out so i've just been doing a little bit of admin but now i'm chilling out i was gonna wash my hair but i've actually booked in tomorrow for a treatment and a tone uh it's not my regular hair salon and that's simply because i was gifted a voucher just after my surgery from one of my friends to get like a wash and blow dry just because i couldn't blow dry my hair I couldn't wash my hair uh, so but I didn't end up using it because I wasn't really going anywhere and I didn't really need my hair styled so Ty would just help me wash my hair at home so I want to spend that voucher and I messaged my hairdresser to tell her and she was like oh my gosh of course like do what you gotta do uh, but I just wanted to say that just in case like I uh, had a video or a, a thing on my story about being at a salon and she'd be like what are you like do you not like me anymore uh not that she would ever do that but anyway i just thought i had to um tell her about it um and uh, this afternoon i'm also going to go to a workout class with a girlfriend and i did actually want to talk about exercise and chemo and cancer and like stoma surgery and all of that so i don't ever show somebody asked me if i could show my workout on my vlogs and i'm not going to do that at the moment and that's simply because i don't want you going through a similar journey to me thinking that you should be doing what i'm doing or vice versa i don't want to look at other people's journeys and think oh i'm not as active as, as they are and blah 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 when you live a really active lifestyle pre-surgery pre-chemo pre-cancer it's a lot easier to rehabilitate afterwards and to build your strength back up because you have been so active and if you didn't live a very active lifestyle um then it's going to be a lot harder to bounce back. It's the same with pregnancy. And so anytime after the body has suffered a major trauma, you obviously want to take it really light and easy. And that's what I do. I only work at about a quarter of what I used to work at, like the activity level or intensity, I should say. I only work at about a quarter of that. And that's because, you know, I even though at the end of a set, I can know that I could complete another five to 10 reps, the goal right now isn't to be crushing it and smashing it and really challenging myself. The goal is to simply just move my body, gentle movement, and just get the endorphins, energize myself. It's really good for my mental health. So whenever I say a light workout, that's exactly what I mean. It means that I'm working to a quarter of the intensity that I usually would, and I'm definitely taking it easy. I also just, if I'm not feeling up to it, I just don't exercise. I don't work out. There's no pressure around it. And that goes all the way up to 30 minutes before the class. If I'm feeling like rubbish, I'll just cancel it. I, I won't force myself to do any exercise. It is purely something I desire to do. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna show my workouts on here. I will eventually uh, when I feel that it is the right time to do so. But for now, let's not play the comparison game. If I'm working out going through chemo, like that's just what's working for me. And if you're not, awesome. Just rest, do what works for you. 
It is mango time, just groping which one's gonna be best for today. It's this one, this is the one. That was a great workout class. I definitely modified it a few exercises and then also just had longer rest periods than everyone else because I monitored my heart rate. Anytime I would get too high, I would just drop it back down simply by resting. <laughs> so just taking it easy. It's already like, I went with a girlfriend, so it's already like 6.46 because we chatted afterwards. So I'm gonna go home, make some dinner, then have a big shower. Food has to be the top priority because I'm quite hungry. Have a shower and just a relaxing night. I think I might read my book. I think somebody missed me. Who missed me? So I'm just making a one pan meal for dinner. Just got some noodles, black beans, uh, tomato, zucchini, broccoli, some spices. Pretty basic, but it will do the job. I perhaps made these noodles just a wee bit spicy. My eyes are watering. I think it's because I, my favorite can of tin tomatoes has jalapenos in it. And I just forgot about that. Whacked the whole thing in. Also put a little bit of chili in there. Why not? Uh, for those who think that, uh, having some spicy food, occasional spicy food with the stoma is, uh, would aggravate it. It doesn't seem to, I haven't had any aggravation or any bloating or any discomfort after having a bit of spice. In saying that, I don't have it in every meal, right? Just moderation. Uh, but this one, she's fiery, she's spicy. I just got off the phone with a girlfriend I spoke to for a couple of hours, which was really nice, uh, from back home in New Zealand. Uh, sometimes the time zone just works out really well and you can probably catch up with friends and sometimes you catch them when they're just like about to go into a meeting and it doesn't work. So really nice when you can have that quality time. Uh, and I was going to make a smoothie bowl. I had a bath, got my PJs, did some self tanner. I always feel so good after disconnection, like in terms of just the freshness of everything, except for the hair, which is getting dealt with tomorrow. Um, but I was gonna make a smoothie bowl, but that was kind of like two hours ago. And so I'm like, St do I still make a smoothie bowl? Do I not? Do I just have some fruit? I'm not sure. I had to show you because I made the consistency even better than last night. I'm very excited to eat this. I'm gonna put some granola on top and maybe some pumpkin seeds. Or some, no, not pumpkin seeds. I mean to say sunflower seeds. Look at this little smooch. She's lying on my lap. Oh, you like the chin scratches, don't you? That's the business. What about a belly scratch? We love a belly scratch in this house. Got her little, little fluffy toy. I've been playing with her. You're the best. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm just being a little bit quiet because Ty is still sleeping. I've got myself a coffee. I naturally woke up at about 5.30 this morning. Um, I was having a lot of like lucid dreams. If anybody else has those, please let me know. I like, it's like you wake up from them and then you fall back to sleep and then you feel like you're not getting any sleep because it feels like, it just feels like you are living it. Oh, it sounds really weird and complicated and I'm not explaining it properly, but if you experience something similar, let me know. So I was just going in and out of this dream and it was such a mundane dream. I was doing groceries and I was cooking and I was stressing out about organizing something. And so I just like toss over and I'd be like, I'm not gonna keep dreaming about this, but I did. Anyway, what a long-winded way to say good morning. It's light outside, which is so cool because it's only quarter past six now. Uh, so I'm going to go for a nice brisk morning walk. I've got a podcast that I'm only halfway through. So I'd like to listen to the other half of that podcast. And then I'm gonna come back and I think I'm gonna do like a 15 minute yoga flow. Uh, I'm trying to build up my strength with a lot of the yoga poses and my balance. I do have a lot of neuropathy in my feet still. So my balance is a bit off. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be a really nice way to start my Friday. Okay, so we're back and I am going to make some banana protein pancakes because I feel like it. So we've got, oh, that wasn't how I imagined that would go. We've got one ripe banana that I'm going to put. I'm just gonna make them in the Nutribullet and I totally freehand this recipe. Like I have no idea. 
exactly what quantities I put in. I just chuck it all in here. And I always start with less water or nut milk or whatever I'm using uh, and work my way up because it's really easy to make something like a thinner consistency, but it's harder to make it thicker. Well, not impossible, but you know, we kind of have some oats, just some quick oats. They're much easier to blend and I like that consistency. So this is this in here. And then we are gonna grab some vanilla pea protein with greens in it. I like this one, I like the flavor. I was thinking about maybe doing the strawberry cheesecake, but I just couldn't really get my head around that, that those kind of flavored pancakes. So that's not what we're having this morning. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. Yep, that will do. And blend it up and make me some pancakes. All right, so I'm just about to race out the door. I put on some really light makeup. Going to go get my hair done, toned, treatment, and then I'm going to go to my sister's work and have lunch with her there. So I've just packed myself a veggie wrap. I've been racing around and we're gonna eat lunch outside because it's actually sunny today, which is amazing. So just got home, I've still got my bags on me. Uh, hair is done, I'm really happy with it. It just looks like it's gonna be a lot easier when the roots grow out. So just a bit of a freshen up, it definitely looks a lot better than it did this morning. I'm gonna have some chill time, put my feet up and read my book. And then I think I will go for a nice stroll. I need to go to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription and a couple of things. So it's about a 15 minute walk. I'll walk there, I'll walk home. I also wanna get some more mangoes because I already ate all the mangoes that I got. To be fair, it was only two. Again, try to buy them so that they don't like go off, but who am I kidding? I could buy five and they wouldn't have time to go off. So Ty has his last rehearsal this afternoon for his show. Uh, and if you live in Vancouver, buy tickets, come see him. Uh, what's it called? What's the show it's called? It's called Music of the Night. Or... Music of the Night. Uh, so that is he, so last rehearsal this afternoon and then he's heading away tomorrow, just I think for about four days. And that's the longest stint that you're away for, hey? Yeah, most of the tours are in Lower Mainland, yeah. which is nice because it means I get to just go do the show and then I can come home yeah. and be in my own bed. And it's also just so nice because my mum and dad are going to be here for part of his uh, season. So it's super cool because they love watching him perform. Like they are obsessed. And so and we're going to try and tag on a few of like the outer, like, so we're going to go to Vancouver Island for yeah, a couple of days. Yeah. So we're going to try and meet there. We're going to try and meet there. So use the tour as an excuse yeah, to, to show to, them parts yeah. of Vancouver and like uh, Vancouver Island and stuff. So I'm going to miss Ty, especially because like the last five evenings he's been working really late and then he's been working in the morning so we haven't really spent much time together but we just had all that quality time in Hawaii yeah. uh, so he's only away for four days and so I'm gonna keep myself occupied I am working I'm working tomorrow uh, and next week because it's a non chemo week so I will keep myself busy okay it is many hours later I have spent a lot of time just relaxing which Sometimes I forget that I really need after a chemo. I'm just so ready to hit the ground running and start my week that I don't have chemo that I often forget to just stop and rest. So I like sat down to read my book and I was just like, oh. I didn't actually fall asleep, but I was just so heavy eyed and just rested and listened to some relaxing uh, videos and things like that. So I'm feeling a bit more refreshed. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm going to try something here. <laughs> so one of my favorite things about going to the hairdressers is when they blow dry your hair out and especially if you've got a fringe and they like roll it under like this with the uh, the round brush and it comes out like the, oh, not like that. It comes out the perfect curtain bangs. And right now, the way the guy did it today, he didn't do that. Um, he did an amazing job with everything else, so no shade. But um, my regular hairdresser, she really spends the time on it. And honestly, it sits like that for days. So I did see a tutorial the other day where, and I seem to have all the things that I need, which is great. So I've just got this little travel spray bottle that I usually um, just put like a little bit of essential oils, like some lavender to spray on my pillow. Um, and I'm going to spray this part of my fringe and then I'm going to blow dry it with the round brush. Mine's actually only like a half round brush, as you can see, but it still does the same trick. So blow dry uh, that until it's dry and then I'm going to curl it up in the roller, apply heat, to, or 
curl it up and then roll it. I'll figure it out. Apply heat to that. And then I let it sit for like 10 minutes and we'll see if it works, okay? I'm gonna put this on time-lapse because I think I'm gonna look like a real idiot and time-lapse will really speed it up and make me not look so silly. <laughs> Can we just laugh about this for a second? Because I look ridiculous. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone like if this works i don't care about looking ridiculous it's just that because i don't wash my hair uh very often because of the bleach i wash it probably like every five days i just i want it to be like the most easiest way to style it so if this is something that i can do in between washes just to like refresh it that would be really awesome i can't take myself seriously i look so silly oh my gosh look I'll show you the result in 10 minutes. We'll see if it's worth it. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna take it out. I hope they're not if I'm taking this out the right way. What is going on? I think I'm supposed to brush it back and then it's supposed to. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I see you. Am I do I am I far forcer? Hold on a minute. I don't mind that at all. Obviously I wouldn't just leave it as fluffy as this. I would probably put some serum in it. But it it's it's done the trick. It has. It did the trick. So there, if you've got curtain bangs, I don't know about this piece here. I don't know what she's up to, but if you wanna try it out, like let me know how you go. This is, yeah. I wish I could see the before and the after side by side. I didn't take a picture, but happy with it. This is my new little hack that I'm gonna do to refresh this part of my hair. I just made some overnight oats for tomorrow. So it's just uh, quick oats. I put a little bit of this powdered peanut butter in just for a little bit of extra flavor. Got some blueberries in there some oat milk and some water as well. And then tomorrow I will add a fresh banana. It doesn't look too fresh, but it's still good on top. And it's just like a quick, easy breakfast that I can have in between coaching or just beforehand. And future Laura will thank me for it. I just had some dinner and now I'm just having, ow, oh, that really hurt. You can see there's actually a little knot in there. I'm just having um, a peppermint tea and winding down. I've been watching Anne with an E. Now, if you've seen it, you're probably thinking, oh, it's a little bit naff. And I hear you, but I it was the only thing I downloaded on the aircraft when we went to Hawaii. So I downloaded the whole first season and I found the actress who plays Anne, like the way they wanted her to be so intense in the beginning, I found that quite irritating, but she definitely grew on me. Um, and I guess that was her goal was to be irritating. So I guess she's a really good actress. Uh, so now I'm just really enjoying it. I'm enjoying watching like period dramas and period pieces. I feel like I should watch Downton Abbey from the beginning again. I only watched it for the first time all the way through last year. My dad told me that I always play with my hair and my sister told me that I always flick my hand. And all I have to say to that is thank you for watching my videos, guys. I love you. Are we even surprised at this point that I'm making a smoothie bowl? I just, if you've been following me since the beginning of my journey and heard me complain constantly about the fact that I couldn't eat cold things. And I said I had a smoothie bowl today. I wasn't lying. It's just at the moment, uh, usually I'd have them at breakfast time because it's hot weather, but at the moment I have them more as like a dairy-free dessert. Um, it's just my favorite thing. We just got mango, blueberries, frozen banana. So frozen mango, frozen blueberries, frozen banana, because that's just the best texture. You can do obviously room temperature banana, but it's not as creamy. Spinach, uh, and then we've got some vanilla and greens protein powder. Just so simple. Chuck some granola on top. I'm just tinting my eyebrows. I've done my skincare. Uh, if you've been following along for a while, you'll notice that the red dots have gotten so much better. And I think it's because we're off the steroids. We're off the dexamethasone, which was uh, in line with the oxaliplatin. Like I needed to take the dexamethasone because I was taking the oxaliplatin. So both reducing both of those and then eliminating both of those has just been such a game changer in my treatment. 
I feel like I'm bouncing back better. I have better energy. Obviously, my neuropathy has decreased. It hasn't gone away completely. Uh, but yeah, just like I can only imagine that, you know, my sleep's just going to get better and better. And yeah, it's a good thing. My skin's better. I, I'm very grateful to be done with those drugs. Good morning. I've just been coaching all morning. Ty came and did the last class with me. Um, we are just going home. Gonna have some avocado on toast. I had my overnight oats this morning, but I am so hungry. So avocado, tomato. I got some sauerkraut, some probiotic uh, sauerkraut. So gonna have that on top as well. Maybe some cucumber, maybe some everything but the bagel. You know, we're crazy like that. And here's my lunch. Excuse the mess on the plate. I cut the tomatoes on the plate. I just got some Mama avocado and some tomato with some sauerkraut on, sauerkraut, sauerkraut on the top. Looks good. So I'm going to drop Ty shortly at, um, at his stop because he's um, traveling with the rest of the group out of town for his tour. Uh, but before we do, we've just had some lunch and we're cleaning up and we're just making sure that the house is all fresh. After I drop him off, I'm going to go to my sister's house and help them garden. Uh, so they're planting a bunch of stuff. Um, and then just hang out with them for the night. Then tomorrow we're going to go for a hike. It's a really beautiful day today, but I hear it's supposed to like crap itself tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully it hangs in there because I would love to do another hike. And yeah, that's my plans for my Saturday. My face is so red. Nah. I'm like really hot and we Looks don't even good. have the heater on. So I hope that it's actually because the temperature is heating up and not because I've been racing around like a mad woman. Also cute, both wearing denim jackets. Yeah, matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. Ty was like, you put your denim jacket on after you saw me in my denim jacket. And I was like, nah, bo. I saw your denim jacket on the bed while I was wearing mine. You hadn't even put it on yet. He may have envisioned himself wearing it a little bit earlier than I'd envisioned wearing mine but I didn't see that, so it's just a coincidence. So, just got a coffee. The milk looks like oh, it's curdling, but it's just like they make their own hazelnut milk, and so it'll be delicious. And then just a couple of vegan cookies. How delightful. This one's new. Yeah, double chocolate, and that one's peanut butter. Okay, so I'm just having a bubbly at Sophie's house. So Sophie and James went to the garden center. We've got some flowers and some veggies. And then, so Sophie doesn't have a balcony per se, but as you go out onto the roof, she can actually, you can actually walk out on the roof. Uh, so she's got all her pots out here and she's ready to go. And last summer she had all of these beautiful flowers when you just look outside this window. And there's an outdoor mat there. So if you want to do some chilling outdoors. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute. I wish we had a space like this. Woe well, is me. Okay, so they've done pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you. I sat right there and didn't get my hands dirty. That looks pretty good got herbs, some blooms, can have a buzzy bee garden. All right, so just making some dinner. We've chopped up some veg in here. Got some big old couscous in there. Some olive bread, Sophie's adding some black beans and we've got some zucchini and asparagus in the pan. Looks delicious. And Sophie made a sauce, uh, beetroot and- Just the oil from the artichoke can. Oh, yum. Might not look like much but it's delightful. I just got home. I've been having some snuggles with Gibby and I'm just gonna cut up one of these Alfonso mangoes. Uh, I just had dinner at my sister's house, which was really nice. Then we watched some funny YouTube stuff. We actually watched a few Coachella clips just because I had heard like Harry Styles performance was absolutely epic. So we watched a couple of his videos. This is just like the best. Like tell me that you don't just wanna, I'm not gonna eat it on camera cause I'll look like an egghead, but I just love like, scooping out like the cheek of the mango uh it's so weird though coming home and ty not being here um obviously i'm used to him working late nights and things uh but it's weird not knowing he's not going to be here for the next few days this will be the longest time we've spent apart since moving here to canada and back in new zealand we used to do this all the time because ty's job often had him touring he'd be either touring the country or internationally so like the longest stint would be eight or nine weeks apart, but usually it would either be like Monday to Friday and he'd be home on the weekends, or sometimes he'd be away for a couple of weeks. He'd have gaps in between contracts, but this was our life for the longest time, you know, spending uh, like five days apart in a row or a week or whatever it might be. 
and it's strange because we've adjusted to new normal being here where we haven't had to spend any time apart because of the way the world has been and everything shutting down, not doing any travel for work. Uh, this is kind of the first of its kind, getting back into live theatre. So it's um, I'm super stoked for him and Gibby and I will have lots of quality time, but it is strange for me coming home and just being like, oh, cool. But it just means that I can read my book, watch my TV shows. Who am I kidding? I already miss him, but that's just me being a suck. So I'm going to just enjoy my mango, do my skincare, get ready for bed. So I just did my skincare, it looks super glowy. Uh, I actually use the gua sha and I do not do this very often. I don't even know if you're supposed to do it daily. If you're a dermatologist or an esthetician or know a lot about skincare, let me know if you use, use yours daily. I just always forget, but I'm sure you can. I really love doing like the jawline and it's just like a nice massage, especially when it comes from the fridge. So I did that with some serum and then um, I'm using this mask, which is from Saturday Skin. It's a vitamin C sleep mask and it smells like, tell me if you had this growing up or still have it. It smells like a preserved lemon curd. Is that a thing here in Canada or even just a thing in the United States? I noticed that most of my followers from the States. So if you had lemon curd growing up, or maybe it's a British thing because my mum is British. She's She was born in England. So maybe it's that. Uh, but I, yeah, I love it. It just smells so nostalgic to me and it's so thick and just, you can see the little like lemony bits. It's kind of got these little beads in it. Not an exfoliating mask, but just like little chunks of lemon, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's really delicious. I don't know a lot about skincare, I'm not going to lie to you. I just check the ingredients to know that I'm not putting like a ton of crap on my skin. Uh, but if you recommend, I, I love my face wash, but if you recommend any good moisturizers, serums, or facial oils that you love, I, I love a personal recommendation. Preferably, yeah, like I said, really natural ingredients. Uh, yeah let me know. Comment it down below because I'm running low on a lot of stuff that I was gifted. I've got some stuff coming in the mail from a brand that reached out to me and I love their products, but uh, I don't know when it's going to get here. And I, when I say I'm running low, I'm running low. So this morning is turning into a great lazy morning in bed because I heard that last night uh, new episodes of Selling Sunset have dropped. So I'm going to check that out in a second and watch uh, a couple of them before I get up. Uh, today I'm going to run a few errands. I've got a Zoom meeting uh, this afternoon, random on a Sunday, but i uh, going to do that later today. But this morning I need to go to the mall. I hate going to the mall and especially this mall, Metro Town in Vancouver, if you're familiar. I always get lost. It's just like a weird shape. I don't even know, but I'm always lost in there. And I need to exchange some pants that the zipper broke and then I need to go to Sephora as well. It's one week till my parents come so there's a couple of things um, that I want to organize for their arrival. And I also am trying to find a market this Sunday because I need to do a fresh fruits and veggie shop. Not sure if I'll make it to the grocery store today because it's Sunday. We know everyone is going to be in the grocery store. But I was trying to see if there's a co-op in Vancouver and there is there's one on commercial drive in East End but they're closing in May they're closing on May 22nd apparently they've been open for years um, I didn't even know they existed but uh, I'd like to go check them out get some fresh fruit and vegetables from there and yeah that's kind of the plan for the day make a few little snacky bits I want to make some oat banana muffins and yeah just have a nice cozy Sunday. I might go, I mean, it's was supposed to be pouring with rain. We were gonna go for a hike, but because we thought the weather was bad, that plan changed and now it's really sunny. So I'm definitely gonna get outside for a walk. So it is a beautiful spring day. I've got the pins out, which means warm weather is here. I'm just walking to the gym and gonna get a light workout in. So it's about a 20, 25 minute walk there and 20, 25 minute walk back and so just do a little workout when I'm there, get some steps in, get some movement at the front end of the day because I plan when I get home after groceries and all of that to just chill out and not do anything. And it's quite easy for a lot of time to pass when you're just like reading your book or watching Netflix. So movement makes me feel good. So I'm going to get it at the top of the day, as they say. And then I can just relax this afternoon. So 
so I just got back from my workout and I decided not to do my groceries today, but I did pick up some fresh produce because I want to have a veggie wrap for lunch and I've run out of leafy greens and hummus and things like that. So naturally picked up two mangoes. These aren't actually the Alfonso mangoes. These are Sweet Pacific mangoes. I got myself some baby spinach. I got some sunflower sprouts. I wanted alfalfa sprouts, but they didn't have any. My sister also sprouts her own, so maybe I'll just get some of hers. Uh, some cherry tomatoes, garlic hummus, the goods. Garlic hummus. Another cucumber. You can never have too much. Oh, I was wondering where my hand was sticky. We have a leak in this mango. That is fine. Don't worry. I'm going to eat you very shortly. We have got two zucchinis. I have got four of these cosmic apples. I don't overcommit to apples just in case they're hard on the outside, but then when you bite them, they're fluffy. I got a whole bag of mandarins. I will plow through these, I'm telling you. I got one avocado because the avocado section was precarious. Now I am that person that only with um, vegetables and fruits that, you know, you don't eat the skin. I like grope them all to see which is the right one. So I found one good avocado and then I got two lemons. So now I'm going to put all of this away, empty the dishwasher and I'm going to make myself a veggie wrap. So this is my veggie wrap. I have got some avocado under there, some hummus, iceberg lettuce because I need to use it up. I'd rather use the baby spinach, but got the iceberg lettuce, red onion, cucumber, tomato, and then I'm going to put some of these sunflower sprouts on the top. And voila, maybe a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, just kidding. I ended up adding balsamic vinegar and then I'm also going to add some of this uh, sauerkraut and I kind of tested out I sort of had like two servings of the avocado toast yesterday both times I had this on top and it was definitely okay digestion wise uh, it wasn't too much so I guess it's just about thoroughly chewing and not overloading on the sauerkraut I just finished my zoom meeting and I've got myself a cosmic apple and some rice cakes with some avocado marmite garlic hummus tomato some of them have cucumber some have the sunflower sprouts and I'm just going to enjoy this and watch some Netflix. I've just been editing a little bit of this vlog and I feel like I've got quite a bit of footage and even though I'd like it to be longer I still I need to take my Mac into support uh, like tech support to get the like you know you manage your storage where it says other storage I have like my laptop's 50% full of other and I can't find where it is like I don't store a lot of my files on there I keep them all in Google Drive it's it's bare ass minimum like templates that I need to access from like my own business uh yeah like invoicing templates I've got like some photos on there but not many and then like applications wise I don't even have that many applications so I feel like I need to get my Mac reset because I cannot store enough videos on here like and then export it into um, like a vlog. It just, yeah. Anyway, all to say that it's a bit of a faff. So I've already got enough footage. So I'm going to start a new vlog. Uh, my sister and James are coming over for dinner tonight. They're just making sure that I um, I have company while Ty's away uh, and we're gonna make a dinner together. So somebody asked me on my last vlog if I would show them how we make a nourish bowl. So I'm gonna show how we do that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one that literally continues on from here. <laughs>